Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I don't know if you can notice anything different. I got a new camera and a new setup. Let me know in the comments if you guys like it. In today's video, I'm going to be doing like a really chatty, get to know me kind of video. And I also show you how to do this look right here. If you want to get to know me a bit better and learn how to do this makeup look, then please keep watching. I'm so in the mood to do makeup today, you know, like I'm literally... I'm in the mood to do makeup. If you see them, my lips like swollen or bruised or anything, um, I got a top up yesterday, so I'll just ignore that. Sorry if that's actually scared you to death, seeing me with full face makeup on and now jumping into absolutely no makeup. But yeah, let's just get straight on into it. By the way, a few of you have asked for like an updated brow routine, that's why I'm just gonna run through this, because I'm gonna do like a really in-depth video on how I do my brows. Yeah, Make sure when you've done brow soap that you go in with like a little baby wipe and just run over. The edge of the brow you end up getting like a line around your brow and then when you do foundation it's just like it's just not a vibe so make sure you just wipe away any excess soap so i was very kindly sent this brow pencil this is the refi some people call it refi <laughs> but i feel like it's called refi this is the brow pencil in the shade medium so i'm going to use that today when i can get it open at one end you get a little spoolie and then the other you get a little brow pencil. So one of the first questions is what inspired you to do makeup? And I think that's quite a good question to like start off this like tutorial. It's actually quite a specific memory that started me to do makeup like as a job. I've always loved makeup so much, like I've always had a love for it. I remember I was watching Kaylee Emuwe on YouTube, I absolutely adore her, like she's literally so talented. And she basically did a video saying like how to become a makeup artist. Honestly, I got to the end of that video and something just clicked. Something was just like, oh my god, like my whole body was just like, this is such a big ball of mature cheddar cheese. I got to the end of that video and I was just like, oh my god that's it that's literally what I want to do so at the time I was in a salon doing like beauty and stuff um and I did like it I did I didn't really mind it but it didn't, it didn't like excite me the way that makeup did like makeup proper made me want to like get out of bed and do makeup do you know what I mean I'm just gonna go in with the P. Louise base and this is in the shade rumor 02 if I have any calls for anything I'll pop them on the screen if you guys um, are thinking of buying them you might as well save yourself some sh money I'm just gonna really quickly carve underneath my brows and then put this all over my lid ready for eyeshadow as well <laughs> is this little mirror i got sent it from pr top kevin aquan I did a mask class the other day and honestly that man he basically paved the way for like all makeup artists i felt so bad because i knew who he was roughly but it's only when you do like master classes and stuff and you actually find out about the brand and the person behind the brand it's like i just think it's so interesting he basically invented cream contour and highlight like what would we do without him and in between the brews Gorgeous. Again, going in with a new product. This is the BFF Pink Honey Bronzing Face Frosting. Shade Toffee Truffle. So I'm just going to put that on the outer corner of my eye and a little bit down my nose. That is really creamy. Someone's asked, do you think one's a cheat, always a cheat? That's quite a good question to be fair. Um, if I'm being like completely honest, I do think like obviously mistakes can be made. However, I think if you cheat on somebody like it's a this pretty big mistake to be made like you are really happy with that person you're like in love with that person do you know what i mean like what would make your eyes want to stray like you must not be 110 percent about that person i just think you've got to know your worth aren't you if someone's gonna like cheat on you then they're not really respectful to you and you need someone who's gonna be respectful to you so yeah that's my opinion on that make sure you go in by the way before your eyes shut on make sure you're not creased like moi I'm going to go in with the Benefit Hula Caramel Bronzer. Someone's asked, do I still live at home? And the answer is yes, I still live at home with my mum and dad. My brother and sister have moved out. Um, they moved out quite a while ago, to be fair. So obviously I'm really, really close to my siblings. Mum and dad literally went on holiday the other week and I was on my own like the whole week and stuff. And I hated it. I literally just didn't like how someone wasn't like always in the house. I can all move out like 25. I think that's like a nice age to move out. She's here, she's new, she's ready to play. This is the, oh my God, it's brand new and I've got makeup on it already. That is so typical. All I see is signs by P. Louise. I'm sorry. Like if this isn't what you need for your autumnal palette then sis, I don't know what it is. The names in this palette are so cute. They're like manifest, vision, vibrations, dreamer, aspire, like, I love that kind of stuff. So I'm just going in with Dreamer on a Zoeva 223 Lux Crease Brush. I feel like I will never ever get bored of fluffy brows. Like they just, 
They just give me life. I will be like in my 90s with a fluffed up brow. So I've just gone back in with that brush um, with nothing on it and just blended it out. We're not doing anything crazy on the eyes. I'm just gonna, like I said, just like a really nice soft glam. So now I'm gonna go in with a little brush. This is the Molly O'Brien Gracie M03. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of that P. Louise base that was left over, a soft cut crease, if that makes sense. So I'm not like doing any mad lines. I'm just really lightly patting this at, like the front of my eyeshadow. This is like such a good look if you don't really know what you're wearing, you're not the bestest at eyeshadow, like this might be your first time playing with eyeshadow. I feel like this look suits absolutely everyone. I feel like it suits every eye shape as well. I'm going to use a new product, so this is the Pink Honey Wonder Whip. Oh, right, are you actually joking me? Look how cute that packaging is. It's a tiny pot of honey. I actually love cute packaging, like anything cute and small like this, I absolutely love it. This is in the shade 04 Soft Brown. So because it's like a cream pomade, I'm just going to use it as an eyeliner, which I think it'll be fine. Molly O'Brien M01 Molly Brush, which is just like a little pointy brush like that. Someone said, should you buy all the shades for different skin tones in your kit? That is actually a really, really good question. Never really like have a kit and just be happy with it and never add to it. So don't worry about having like a small kit and stuff because it will grow over time. Um, I would definitely say though, make sure you've got like quite a pale colour, like a medium tan and then obviously a darker colour for darker skin tones. Three shades of foundation, three shades of concealer, three shades of bronzer. Blush is quite generic and so is lipstick, like you can mix them together to make loads of different tones. It just basically means that like Say if somebody comes in who's really fair, you've got that shade, but if someone comes in who's not as dark as your middle shade, but not as light as your first shade, you can just kind of mix those two together and make like their own custom shade. I'm just going to do a little wing, nothing crazy. Like that. I'm just going to run a little bit of this through my waterline. This is the NYX Golden Olive SL05. I don't like people touching their eye, I'd probably recommend looking away now. <laughs> Also run it through the top of my lash line as well. The Iconic London Triple Threat Mascara. I absolutely live for this mascara. It's unreal. By the way, guys, look how much my lashes have actually grown. I started using the Eye Glow Lash Serum. They really kindly sent it me because, honestly, I would have never bought anything like that. I just feel like they're a scam, like they don't work. Oh my god, it actually worked. Two months of doing that, like, I'm not gonna lie, it's obviously a commitment to do. That's like my natural lashes, and for me, these are so, so long. So, I'm just gonna stick on some lashes. I've already used, um, they're in the wrong box, don't even ask. <laughs> these are the lashes in the style Side Chick, and they're just like a really cute short to long, like, cat eye lash, which is literally my favourite at the minute, especially when you're doing soft glam, you want your eyes to be like, Oh, nice and fluttery. Um, I thought I'd just show you whilst I'm doing it. So I've already trimmed these, so make sure you hold the lash up first um, with no glue on it or anything, and usually need to trim the end a little bit. I just look down, I place my lash literally in the middle of my lashes, like that. And then I always go in with the ends first and like push right into my lash. And then as you can see, I like go underneath and like squeeze my natural lashes and that lash together. And then once I've done that, I lift this inner corner bit, Again, place it right on the inner corner where my lashes are, like that. That's how I put my lashes on. Now we're going to move on to skin. So I'm just going to prep the skin with a little bit of moisturiser. I'm loving this one at the minute. It's the Too Faced Hangover Good To Go. So I just do literally one pump, warm it up in my hands, and then I just apply it directly onto my face. By the way, I am going to do something with my hair, like I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. Now let's go on with foundation, I'll answer another question for you guys. I'm going to use a few drops of the Maybelline 24 Hour Wear in Warm Sun. A drop of the um, Too Faced Born This Way foundation in Natural Beige. And to blend that in, I'm going to go in with a Peaches and Cream PC19 brush. Don't judge, I didn't clean my brushes because... I did a makeup this morning and I thought I'm just going to use the same brush, it's fine. See how this foundation's matching? Oh, bang on. I'd say getting better at makeup and stuff. I know it sounds so stupid and I know you obviously, you already do this, but genuinely, the more you practice, you, you physically can't not get any better if you practice more. YouTube videos, if you did master classes, if you did like a one-to-one -one lesson with your local MUA, things like that really, really... Like, just getting tips from other people and how they do it. I just love the makeup community, how everyone does things a little bit different. Like, you, you'll never really meet a makeup artist who has the exact same things in a kit or 
who does things like exactly the same every time they do the makeup so it's so nice that you can learn from other people I absolutely love at the minute painted by Spencer oh, oh my god the dream for him to paint my first one day it's actually a bit uncanny go better how you want to go better like don't keep working and working and working to be the exact same as another makeup artist because otherwise we'd literally all be the exact same do you know what I mean so if you want to be a creative makeup artist say like push yourself in that sense and if you want to be more of like an e-commerce like kind of makeup artist I'd definitely say soft glam try and get that to the best you can get that like <laughs> makeup's such a wide spectrum of different things so yeah I'd say like find your niche at what you want to do and then go down that route because otherwise you'll just try and be good at every form and aspect of makeup and that's obviously especially if you're only just starting out that's going to be really overwhelming so yeah I hope that helps in any way I feel like that made no sense but <laughs> the sensual skin enhancer in SK04 I'm not even joking that much we'll do my whole entire face I'm gonna put a bit under my eye my forehead tip of my nose, my chin, a little bit above my lip. I'm just blending this in with my beauty blender, just pushing it into the skin. I'm just going to go back in with that um, toffee truffle. So I want to make my cheekbones look a bit more, a bit more snatched, so I'm just going to put it where my cheekbones lie. I'm actually obsessed with that formula like honestly if you could feel this it's going on so creamy I also like to put a little bit at the sides of my chin just to make my chin look a little bit longer and then to blend it in I'm going to use the Makeup by Georgia 01 brush which is just like a big nice big flat and angled brush and um, I'm just going to start buffing this into the skin one of you guys have just asked me um, how I got into this job and that's quite a good question to be fair because I think I might have touched on it in my old can you hear hen it's literally morning it's such a morning i think i might have touched on it in my old youtube videos full-time job now is literally like content creating which is just surreal it's literally my dream job like i get to do my dream job i can't even believe it i actually owe it to you guys like supporting everything i do following me like even like watching this now like i got my first payment off google the other day and i literally could have cried like like I'm gonna be paid for YouTube. That is just that is my honestly. That's all. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do in life, and I'm doing it. So kind of like fell into this job, if I'm being honest. So the month before we went into Corona, um, I actually quit my full time job I was doing at the time. I was in an office selling equity release. I hated my life. No shame to anybody who sells equity release, works in an office, anything like that, but. I think when you're like a creative person, an office job is literally your version of hell. I had my Instagram at the time and I did looks on myself. I just literally filmed every day. Like, I am not joking when I say it here. I was in this room every single day filming. Um, I did lives. I chatted to you guys. Started making a better relationship. I only had a small following at the time. I think I went into Corona with 2k, 3k, like something like that. Um, and I was so proud to even have that. I started doing tutorials and then I think it was an IGTV that like went really big. I was doing makeup for myself to like distract myself through it and then people liked watching it and liked doing makeup also to distract themselves through what was going on. I think it was just like, it kind of clicked, oh my god, if I keep pushing myself and if I keep practicing, if I keep like proper proper working really hard, I could actually grow it's not even so much about a following just like the connection you have with people and they started to support every any any look I did whether it was glam whether it was creative and that's such a lovely feeling to know people follow you and because they like what you do like oh my god I'm literally such a ball of cheese but it's oh honestly I can't even tell you how grateful I am to be able to do this but yeah that's kind of how I fell into it I just basically literally from that grew a following then from that I started working with brands I started to realize you can make money and then I started like doing collabs with people and then literally now here we are we're nearly on we literally hit 73k today and 7k on here and 85 no 88 on tiktok like oh that is just crazy so everyone puts the powder on they get loads of powder in the brush and you can tap it off into the pan but loads of people like tap it and it goes everywhere and you lose the powder if you tap it downwards you can see how there's literally no excess coming off it falls into the brush and then when you go to apply your powder your brush is full of powder so you just really lightly tap and can you see all that powder 
literally thank me later like you guys need to go and try that underneath our cheekbones chin smile line down our nose I'm going to go in with the Hula Caramel again and just put that over where we put that contour before. So somebody has said, when are you doing another giveaway? P.S. Obsessed with you. Oh my god, that is so cute. Thank you. I felt really bad because a lot of you were asking if it was international and I honestly, I just didn't even think like, I don't know, I just didn't plan for it to be international. I just didn't plan for it to be international, but so many of you asked. So the next giveaway that I do will definitely, definitely be an international one. I'll give it away at the end of October because then that's when everyone starts wearing like normal makeup again and stuff. I haven't really got any like new blushes to try so I'm going to try the eyeshadows as a blush because I always like doing that anyway. Um, so this is the palette so I'm going to take the shade um, Universe and a little bit of Make A Wish on the same brush as my bronzer. Gorgeous. We all love a bit of blush. So I just like putting mine uh, a little bit over my nose, a little bit at the front and then blending all the way up until my temples. So for highlight, we're going to try that refi, refi, ugh, the refi, oh my god, the refi one. I'm just going to put the tiniest bit onto the back of my hand, dab that onto the beauty blender. Oh my god, it's actually beautiful, actually beautiful. And then I'm just going to apply this to like the highest point. So I'm just going to apply a bit to the top of my cheekbones. Oh my god oh my god no i'm actually in love i'm actually oh, it smells really good as well oh no no i actually want to be dipped in it someone get me a massive ball that and just dip me in it oh, wow look at that literally skin like glass oh, i love that oh my god guys if you use that let me know what you think because i am literally obsessed was, um, my mum was listening to Enrique Iglesias the other day. Oh, that absolute tune is. Like, every other song that was playing, I was like, I literally forgot these even existed, but they are absolutely amazing. I would highly recommend. But I'm just going to wipe any hand out and all that. I've just realised again my mic was over there, so I am actually so sorry if you couldn't hear me then. One of the questions is your go-to lip combo, best lip products, whatever, so I thought I'd obviously put you guys through my lips. So this is my all time, goes with any look, stays on, I literally, I will never get bored of this combination. To prove the point, look how tiny my lip liner is, it's literally so tiny. Um, so this is the um, Morphe Bite Me Liner, it's like a very nice, it's like a dupe for the Mac Cork Liner, if you like that you'll love this. It's got a little wee bruise there, um, so I'm not going to overline or anything, I'm just going to follow my natural lip shape. Right, so now we've outlined them, don't worry if it is a little bit dark because we're going to go in with a light colour and like blend it. Jordana Tisha lipstick in Mama Mama, it's her collaboration with Mitchell. Oh, honestly, it's just like nicest like cream pinky shade. So I just put mine on my little spatula and then I just use a little fluffy brush, <laughs> fluffy brush, <laughs> a little fluffy brush just to blend it into the middle of my lips. Suits so anyone's lips, like it's just absolutely perfect. You can use like a small fluffy brush because if it's like a dense brush it doesn't blend as well. And then I just really lightly blend my lip liner into that colour. This is the NARS Lip Oil and this is in the shade Solist. Oil infused lip tint. So it technically is a lip oil but I just think lip oils are so much nicer than glosses. Like they literally rehydrate your lips, they look really nice, super glossy. Um, and yeah, it's like skincare and makeup at the same time. So I just pop this on all over my lips. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that mascara on my bottom lashes and then I'll come back on for to her. I'm just going to do a half up half down, it's going to be well easy. Um, I'm just going to use this little comb, this is from this is from Pound Stretcher, it was literally like 80p, I'm not joking, favourite comb ever. A little bit of the Cantu Shea Butter Edge Hold Gel. Oh, quite a few people have said like where do you get your inspo from? I would say I get a lot of my... Um, Makeup in sport from Pinterest and TikTok. It's so good TikTok because there's always new trends. So I do really love TikTok for that. Pinterest is absolutely amazing. I feel like Pinterest shows me so many accounts that I literally would never fall across myself. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love that. That's where I get all my nail in sport from Pinterest. And also there's this account on Instagram called Joel 
Joel Corey, Joel Cole nails, or so it's something like similar to that. I'll put it on the screen. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, I just smacked my camera out the way. But yeah, when I next ask you guys my story, like what nails should I pick, I'll tag the pictures that the places that I get the pictures from, if that makes sense. If you're in like a bit of a rut and you're really wanting to like do a creative look, if you go onto people's like art pages and like stuff like that, making artwork into makeup is just the best thing ever like I just love doing that that's a really fun thing of mine to do I feel like every woman can multitask but me do you know what I mean like I'm, I'm trying to speak then whilst brushing my hair and I literally my brain was like pick one pick one because we're not doing both do you know what I mean <laughs> so guys this is the final makeup look I'll go with any outfit any occasion you can just rely on this makeup to just last all day and yeah I'm really happy how it came out. Um, if you did get to this point in the video, thank you so much for sticking around this long. I'm so, so grateful for you guys. Also, keep your eye out on this channel for some Halloween looks. Um, let me know in the comments or message me on Instagram any ideas that you want me to do and um, things like that. Like I said, thank you so, so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content like this. And I hope you're having a really good day. I'll see you soon for another one. Bye. I can't read the camera. Who do I think I am posing like this? Do you know what I mean? Who do I think I am? Oh. Now I need to take some pictures. That's for sure. We're light, aren't we? Oh, I actually can't get Billy Eilish shout my head. Like, once she's in my head, that's it. Oh, I'm making something. Oh, oh my god.